Mommy Hacks here and I'm going to show you how to make some fabulous homemade Play-Doh. Okay, so the ingredients you're going to need today, flour, salt, this one is so nice, canola oil, warm water, cream of tartar, and food coloring. And additional things you're going to need is a stirring utensil. Oh, it's up here, it's up here. Where is it? No one knows. No one knows! And you're going to need a measuring cup, one cup, and a measuring spoony spoon, one tablespoony spoon. Oh, simple, that's all you need. Okay, first, you're gonna take your warm water. You need two cups of it. One potato. Please don't run out, please don't run out, please don't run out. Two potatoes. So, two cups of warm water. It's probably a better idea to do your flour first so it doesn't stick. And then two cups of flour. science and two. You're gonna take your nice salt. You're gonna take a whole cup of this and pour it on in there. Okay, now we go to our tablespoon. Tablespoon, spoony, 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 spoon. Where are we looking? Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Keep up with me. Keep up with me. Up, up, up with me. Up with me. Now you're up with me. What's up, dude? Okay, now you're gonna take. Oh wait. I remember from last time. We're gonna take the dry ingredient first. And you're gonna do one tablespoon of cream of tartar. This is actually optional, so if you don't have this inside of your, your cabinet, don't worry about it. It's for elasticity, but it makes it beautiful. So, we all want beautiful play dough, don't we? And two tablespoons of canola oil. One potato, two potato. And now the hard part is done. Now you're gonna turn your lovely stove top on to a medium heat. I'm gonna stir and mix all this in. Let's go. Lovely, stirred and beautiful. Now, I'm gonna put a timer on and tell you exactly how long it takes, but it takes about 10 minutes and you're just gonna cook and stir it occasionally and then I'll show you what it looks like whenever it's done. Five minutes and count to three seconds later. We are done! So once it doesn't stick to your sides anymore and it pulls the middle, Beautiful. Done. And if it's still sticky, cook it more! So now we're gonna wait for it to cool off. Eight minutes later. Now we have nice, cool, malleable Play-Doh. Any hizzle. You can either leave this as it is and you can just play with it, or you can dye it. You kind of squish it out to where it's flat and then you throw. Tip of the day, tip of the morning. So wear ugly clothing that you don't care about getting dye on. Y'all know what a pain it is? Y'all know what a pain it is to get food coloring off you? Next hack. Stay tuned next time and I'll tell you how to get it off. Super quick. Bye now. Like, comment, subscribe!